Hello everybody, welcome to Yurunga Library. Alison and I know that you can't come into the library at this time, so we're coming into your home. And to do so, we thought we'd, hmm, read a book and let me think, I don't know, sing a song. We're going to do those two things. But before we do that, we want to tell you about next week because it's Children's Book Week. The 21st to the 27th of August is Children's Book Week. And we have this wonderful display here that Cook is looking after for you guys to later come in and borrow lots of fantastic books and enjoy the library inside again. Okay, so let's start off with a story, shall we? This is a story about birds and it's called Busy Beaks. Now, before I read this story, I'm going to need your help because there's lots and lots and lots of birds in here. There's some, what are these? That's right, they're eggs, birds' eggs. But there's lots of birds in here and I want you to help me identify them. That means give them names. This is a book called Busy Beaks by Sarah Allen. Now I know that you've seen these birds around, haven't you? Look at them flying there. We'll turn the page and we'll find out what they are. They're cockatoos, aren't they? And cockatoos screech across the morning skies. And I know for a fact that you know what these are too. These are birds that warble. Strange word, isn't it? Warble. And warble they do. And we know that these birds here are magpies. These birds, of course, have really, really big beaks and they go together in groups and they're called pelicans. You've seen pelicans, haven't you? They're big birds. These birds are just gliding on the water, having a lovely time. They're called swans and all of a sudden their bottoms are up. Why are their bottoms up? Because they're bobbing down to eat. They're looking for food, those swans. What else can we find? Oh, look at that. We've got a little bird there in its nest. It has three speckled eggs and the bird's name begins with a er, ro, robin. Someone works here, Alison, don't they? Don't they have the name Robin? They do, don't they? Well, Cooker, this is your big moment because the next bird is a loud kookaburra. And we know that they go... Okay, you can make that sound now. Ready? One, two, three. Big louder. Yes. Cooker like that. These birds, I don't know if you've seen them. Have you? They seem to just be in the air and they fly and they flap and they stay in the air as they eat the beautiful flowers of, say, a banksia. And they're getting what's called sweet nectar. Oh, they love that. It's yummy. It's like honey. I know you've seen these birds around. These are absolutely beautiful with their colours. And look at the top two. I think they're in love. I think they are. These birds are called lorikeets and they live in big mobs together. And boy, do they make lots of noise. These are beautiful birds as well. Do you know what they're called? They're called rosellas. And there they are in a 
cozy big tree. Can you see, I'll bring this forward, can you see what's in the tree? That's pretty special, isn't it? They're looking after their young. Now on this page, I want you to look at the beaks of the birds. What can you tell me about the beaks of the birds? They are very long. And that's because these birds are called shorebirds and their long beaks go down to the sands and the sandy stones that we can see and creeks by the beaches and that's the way they get their food. They splash around there. <gasps> These two birds, they're dancing. They're called brolgers and they love to dance. And they leap up high and they dance. dance, dance. <gasps> Whoa, look at this bird. I know, you know what that is. That's called an owl. We've sung a song about an owl here at Storytime. And this owl's called a tawny frogmouth. And they can see in the dark. That's why they have their big eyes. Now, these ones I've seen a lot lately around our local area. They've got lovely colours, greys and so on. And these birds are called, starts with a G. Can't hear you. They're called, that's right, they're called Galahs. And as I said, I've actually seen quite a lot of them at the moment. This one, I want you to look at their beaks. It's a very small beak, and that's the small beak of a finch. A finch and they like to take dips in a bird bath these ones are very small you will see these around here in our local area they're called wrens and look at their tails and they're quick I'm going to annoy Alison now because I'm going to go off the camera by darting around but you see that's what fairy wrens do and they have beautiful colors often with the color blue now look at this one. This is one of my favorite birds. This bird is called an eagle and they can go so high in the air. This is a famous bird because this one's called a wedge-tail eagle. It's flying around looking for something to eat. There's a very tall bird. It's called an emu and that's the emu dad what's the emu dad doing in this picture i think it's looking after his chicks little emu chicks look at the hairstyle well birds don't have hair i'm only being funny but look at the hairstyle of these cockatoos these are called palm cockatoos and one of them has a stick in its claw and it makes a rhythm with the stick makes a rhythm with the stick I love those feathers and in the late afternoon if you go out this afternoon you will see birds flying to various places why do you think they're doing that well they're simply going home they're going home to roost and to rest. Just a few more and we'll sing a song because sometimes you'll see these brrr, brrr, they're called doves. These ones you won't see in the local area but I know you've seen them before on television. These are called penguins and they sort of walk like that. You can do that. Hop up! Hop up! They walk like a penguin. Like a Fairy penguin. Okay, you can sit down now because that is a lot of birds. These are called budgies or budgerigars and they're an Australian bird. You might even have a budgerigar at home or two. These are birds that go into their burrow. I'll just show you where the burrow is in the ground. And that's where they sleep at night. 
they sleep underground. Wow, birds sleeping underground. How cool is that? Not all birds go to sleep at night. This one doesn't. Look at the big eyes. What bird is this one? It's an owl. And it looks for its food at night. Okay, what I want you to do is show me your big eyes. Do this. Woo! And then go hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Because that's what that owl is doing. Oh, we're nearly finished. There's our picture of all of our birds. Now, if you want to have a look at this book, when the library's open, you can come down and borrow this book. Remember the title? It's called Busy Beaks. It's a story there by Sarah Allen. So you're more than welcome to come and borrow that really lovely book about birds. Okay, Cooker, it's time to sing. Are you ready to sing? Cooker says, spot on. Let's sing a song. So everybody on their feet. We're going to sing a song about some ducks. Five little ducks. Ready? Two, three, four, five. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Let's count them. One. Two. Two little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back One, that's all we can count One little duck went out one day over the hill, far away, Mother Duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Well, that made Mother Duck really sad. So she went looking for her five little ducks. Sad Mother Duck went out one day over the hill and far away mother duck and quack 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 and all of the five little ducks came back okay last verse five little ducks went out one day over the hill Far away, Mother Duck said quack, 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 and all of the five little ducks came back. All of the five little ducks came back, and all of the five little ducks came back. Now, before we go, we better count them. One, two, three, four, five. They're all back with Mother Duck. Alison and I hope that you've really enjoyed the story time as much as we have bringing it to you. Stay happy, stay strong, and we'll soon see you. We'll see you back at the library. Bye now. Bye, Cooker.